miles offshore, drifting north with a Gulf Stream, where the deep reef drops off into hundreds of feet of water. We've already encountered four species of dangerous sharks. Now, we are in the wide open ocean, where real sea monsters could show up at any time. And I can't wait to meet them. I am Manny Puig. I have spent my whole life learning to survive like Tarzan in the most dangerous and primitive wilderness where you can be killed or eaten. I have learned the ways of giant man-eating predators, deadly sharks and reptiles, where every encounter may spell disaster in the savage wild. Offshore, we get ready for the next dive. I'm hoping to lure in true pelagic or open ocean shark, like a white tip or silky. But we could be surprised by anything. This it, John? Yeah, that's it. You know, it's funny, Manny. Everybody thinks if you fall in the ocean, sharks are just going to come and eat you. And here we've been yeah, filling like, the ocean full trying, of chum. We've been and trying to get eaten all day. <laughs> we've been trying to get eaten all day. Sharks come, they look at us, and they swim away. <laughs> I guess there's something wrong with us. <laughs> okay, uh, and if, maybe you could just hand me my camera over the side too over there. I settle in and begin chunking up the fish. We have already used up so much fish that I will need to pace myself. Below me, a beautiful school of Jack Crabell is passing by. down to see if I can hand feed them, but they move away. I'm running low on fish. Wow, huge school of Jacobels. Huge school of them. I suddenly realize this may be our only opportunity to spear a few oily, bloody jackravel. I know the sharks will go wild for them. But as I drop below with my pole spear, they move deeper and then keep their distance as if they know exactly what I'm up to. Chasing them is no use, so I head back up for a breath. With only a pole spear, taking one of these fish will be tricky. I managed to get within range but the fish moves away as I let my spear fly. I will have to make do with the fish we have left to bring in the sharks. Below the school of Jack Crabell. A sandbar shark is slowly rising up from the deep. This is one of the sharks that is at home on the reef for miles at sea. I continue to chunk up Bonita. But after 30 minutes, the action seems to have tapered off. So we head back to the boat to take a break and move to another spot. My 
that search for large oceanic sharks continues. We have now spent hours drifting with the Gulf Stream, chunking up Bonita, and hours of this can be exhausting. But with each dive, there is the excitement of the unknown. What surprises are waiting for us? Hoping to encounter a monster pelagic shark. We are now drifting miles out at sea for the Gulf Stream. The water below us is almost a thousand feet deep. Large oceanic sharks are constantly hunting these waters, as well as the duskies and sandbar sharks we have already encountered. We will stay together and stay focused. Big sharks have a habit of sneaking up on you when you are distracted, as one of our crew soon learns. Once again, we gear up for the next dive. It is now late in the afternoon, and this is actually when the sharks begin to prowl for food. I have decided to drift free untethered from the boat for this dive. Okay. What we're doing here, our uh, previous technique was we were latching them to the boat, giving them about 70 feet of line, just letting them drift with us to keep them close to the boat, keep them safe if things were to get out of hand. Now we're just letting the ball run free. We put them out there with the buoy because uh, now this west wind is pushing this boat like a parachute. And what happens is it pushes us and it pushes us off any ledge structure, anything that we want to stay on with the north current. It's pushing us right off it, so this way they can stay in the hot zone longer and hopefully get more interaction with the sharks. A silky shark cruises in to investigate. Common in the Gulf of Mexico, it is much more rare to see them on the east coast. This is a true pelagic shark, always found miles at sea in the deep water. They are called silky sharks because they have fine scales and their skin looks smooth. They are powerful sharks and can grow to 10 feet. Silkies are easy to spot with the short patrol fins and torpedo shape. I continue to work the fish as a silky investigates a stringer. Silky continues to gain confidence. This is a perfect example of how cautious most sharks really are. They almost never rush in and attack. But it moves in closer, and the Silky doesn't seem to mind. Finally, deciding that the shredded fish hanging from the stringer is worth taking an experimental bite. I am now
now down to shredding small mackerel, when suddenly deep below us, we catch a glimpse of a giant hammerhead shark. Like Jurassic Park, we get a visit from a real dinosaur, a huge great hammerhead, and there's nothing between him and us but water. Our silky continues to keep us company. Our attention is on the hammerhead. An incredible predator. This monster shark is determined to leave with a price. Miles offshore, drifting north with the Gulf Stream. We have already encountered our first true pelagic shark. A five foot silky is growing braver by the minute. A large sandbar shark is also slowly circling. And deep below us, we get a glimpse of a massive great hammerhead before it disappears into the gloom. The silky seems bored with what I have to offer. He circles continuously, as if hoping I will finally bring out the main course. That night, the silky shark remains cautious, shying away from me at the last second. And although this is a beautiful predator, I'm not here for five foot silky sharks. I'm looking for monsters. If you wonder why we wear full wetsuits in warm water, this is why. The little jellyfish near the surface is just one of the thousands we encounter out here. Some are harmless, and some will put you on your knees. As Quetta swings his camera back to the group, a surprise, Mr. T is back. While he is distracted with a jellyfish, the great hammerhead suddenly swims up behind Robin Bird, sending chills down his spine for not seeing such a huge animal sneaking up behind him. are the longest of all predatory sharks, great whites get much heavier. But the great hammerhead is a gigantic shark, reaching lengths of 20 feet. At 12 feet long and 800 pounds, this one is very impressive, but they can get much bigger.
what an adventure. We have now seen six species of large dangerous sharks. And that huge hammerhead is still lurking out there. Fascinated by how much respect the other sharks give them. They know Mr. T would just love to eat them. Six miles offshore in a thousand feet of water, drifting north with the Gulf Stream, we are being slowly circled by a huge predator, and he's getting braver with each pass. A massive great hammerhead! 12 foot, 800 pound monster swimming around us like this. Get a little bit more. All right. The great hammerhead is circling much closer. I feel he's planning to make a move. Eyeing each one of us carefully. The open ocean is a wild and savage place. There is no mercy here. And it pays to be big with a mouthful of teeth. These huge sharks can turn on a dime. Like this. Many spearfishers have been startled to have a great hammerhead pass by and then suddenly turn and ram into them, sometimes over and over. He sniffs the shredded fish in my hand. another complete circle around us. This huge animal is worried of us, and this is how they stay alive. You can see the powerful muscles rippling along his body as he swims by. Finally, he decides to take the fish from my hand, then swims away, gulping it down. then turns and rushes directly at the camera, passing calmly while looking into the lens. What an incredible thrill it is to share the water with this magnificent animal that may one day vanish from many waters. Great hammerheads have been reduced by over 80% according to some studies. Their huge fins are prized for shark fin soup and they are an easy catch for the international longliners. If I can pass my knowledge about these animals onto you and help you understand them, it is better for them and us. Yeah, we heard that one. What a beautiful animal. Hey, John, come on. Come on. Yep. Real, really careful, really cautious. Man, he got, got a chance to hand feed him. But, uh, oh, he uh, stayed with us for quite a while while two other sharks were working us as well. Yeah, we had a scent bar, a silky, and a great hammer here at the end. Six species. Yeah. Hey! Wow. <laughs> I was just I was just out of fresh bait too, man. Got I had one little come on in here. Piece of uh, uh, Jack. It had hardly any any juice left in it. I was like, oh, just getting dust yeah. off of it, dust yeah. off of it. And then I thought, please come and get it. Take please come and get it. And he finally went like this, and it was such a it had a little rag. I finally had to just get my hand out of it because you know a great hammerhead has a big mouth. Yeah. Unlike a scalper hammerhead. Yeah. yeah. He sucked it right down too, man. Oh yeah. Whew. So this is so we're so far out that we have like uh, sharks that live on the reef and so forth, and sharks in the ocean mixing it together. When I saw a suki, I said, "No, we're out there. We're far out there. They're, you know, yeah. coming in contact with." That's a rare that sight. Hammerhead was gorgeous. He was a beautiful animal. Yeah, but how much? How much did he weigh? He was massive, massive. Dude, a twelve foot hammerhead could weigh six hundred pounds, eight hundred pounds. Oh, at least yeah. that. At least eight hundred. It depend. Yeah, depending on the you know. Yeah, the, he, his girth was, him on his the girth was massive. Yeah, exactly. It, it's hard. I, all I know is when he. Drop down, I can see the he was wide. Yeah. The sea hammerheads are bigger this way. Yeah. So he was real big this way and even sideways, it was do really you, wide. Do you think that was the same one that surprised me earlier? I don't know. This was a male. That was a male. That was a I noticed oh, yeah. it was a male. I did I did catch that. But it could have been the same one. Yeah.
sharks are complicated and unpredictable. Yes, they're very dangerous. Uh, you could come out here and get attacked. But you can also spend the entire day out here shumming for them, putting blood in the water, trying to attract them, and find nothing. At any moment today, we could be in the water with five different species of sharks. Um, we were approached by bull sharks, samba sharks, dusky sharks, Caribbean reef sharks, silky sharks, and at the end, a massive great hammerhead to, to end the day. What an experience to see this 12 foot, 800 pound monster swimming around us like this. And that's the one shark I got a hand feed on at the end of the day, that made my day. And I'm glad you were here to enjoy it with us on Savage Wild.